Hello everyone, this is Zero Raptor coming at you with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Now I am going to leave my common room and head for my next destination, which is one of these multitude of quests that I've been gifted with. So the next chapter, a lot shorter. I got this required level 19, which is probably going to give me a level 25 enemy, I bet. Uh, I apparently halfway through this quest already. I already got a Jira call, so now I need to get a giant purple toad. And then, yeah, not doing the flight test because the flying mechanics sucks in here. And full of the dead. Um, I'm guessing this is to get the those creatures that you can only see if you've witnessed death. So, I mean, I've got a lot of, like, creature catching, so we'll see where that entails. I mean, I wonder if it'll, it'll grant it to me retroactively, because I technically already caught a couple of those. Would like hey, to there. With you when you have a moment. I mean, you look like you're doing well after what happened with Tobbs. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me? Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. Can't I simply rescue them? I know, because there's. It's not like you can fight the beasts in here. They're basically just like collectibles. I mean, you can ride some of them and then you can get the crafting materials from them. But other than that, I don't really see any discernible reason to breed anything that sounds a very good idea rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe I see and what do I need to do first bring a pair of beasts to the room one male one female Deke suggests rescuing Thestrals as they're at great risk from poachers noble creatures but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the right. Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. I think I'm already way ahead of you. Breeding pen spellcraft. Yeah, I think I... I think I got one. Just there. Oh. Utility. Nope. Or do I have to be in the... I have to be in the room. The... Vivarium. Okay. Large, small. Yeah, because I went to Toman Scrolls, and since I, since I accumulated so much money, I might as well just like buy everything they had there. I've been studying Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Oh, I guess I didn't. I'm assuming it's probably like time, so I have to, uh, have to purchase at certain parts of the storyline. Oh dang! Now I want to go help Sebi, but I got this to do. Oh, cool! Hogsmeade is all decorated. That's nice. I mean, I think they had pumpkins set up too, but now it's like you can. There's like more noticeable decorations since it's winter now. Alright, let's see. Is that the only thing I need to buy from this Hello guy? There. Come on in. Plenty to look at here. And game slowly loading. Let's look at what we have, shall we? 
I mean, I lowered the graphic requirements, so I don't know why it's still taking so long to load. Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the festivals. Yep, got, still got plenty of galleons. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I mean, I can buy ingredients. But while I'm here, is there any place with the... Nope. Kitty cat. Wait, kitty cat. Yeah, what's that other quest? Let me see. Because I also need to... Purple Toad. I think I'm near some rivers, right? Purple Toad, Purple Toad. Oh. Really? I thought there's some toads over here by the Forbidden Forest. I guess not. Might as well knock this one out while I'm out here. Oh yeah. There's this guy. We get spit spit what quick. Is it? What's wrong? Goblins! That's what. Radrot's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. Well, I certainly have plenty. You're right. The world's not no safe charity. At the Jeez. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> what are you gonna give me? And I've you to thank. Please. Wiganwell, Thunderbrute, invisibility. Hi. Oh yeah, I need to make more Wiganwell, because I used up my entire. St batch of like 25 which I'm it's the only max amount I'm allotted according to the game all right better get my bag out well I need to levy Osa first and then I can get my bag out oh oh crap okay all right I guess regardless this game is gonna make me Fight him. Oh yeah. Ow. Okay. Not cool. My health is slowly recovering, at least. I mean, I guess I can... Or... Get some pork lumps for my troubles. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Are there Inferi in here? I mean, these don't typically have in theory. Yeah, it looks like it might have in theory. Yeah, I'll. I'll check it out once I get more Wigan Weld, because right now I'm not in the best position. Okay, let's try this again and not die. Okay, where are you? Oh, Horse. Oh, come on. Oh. 
Give me a break. Ah. Oh. Of course, it has to be near a freaking graveyard. here for my troubles. Yay, more sellables. I just want a stinking frog. Is that too much to ask? Okay, where is this? Right, so I just need one, right? Get as many as I can get. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. All right, I'm just gonna hightail it back. Uh, we're. Oh yeah, it's be over here. Ah, oh, come on, really? You're not gonna let me fly back. Or fast travel back. Oh. 23 galleons, so not worth it. Oh, now you're letting me fast travel. 10 beast class. No. I suppose. Really, what was the point in that beginning There's tutorial so where it's like. About beasts. So much to learn. Oh, I guess we're starting. Yeah, what was the point in that beginning area where. I'm supposed to smash vases for free stuff and. It never really occurred anywhere else in the game after that. That is a very disturbing Niffler. Excellent Ooh, work she's... today. Class dismissed. Ugh. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung in this class. My brother's doing well, thanks to you. And he listens to me now. Turns out having beef for feet teaches a memory. That was a very quick class. Oh, where'd all the... Where'd the beasts go? Isn't this supposed to be their holding? Well, I guess it's winter, so they should be sheltered inside. Oh yeah! I can unlock this now. Sorry, Professor, don't mind me. I'm just, you know, breaking into your, your cage right in front of you. Locked with weird. Solar protection goggles. Yay. So very useful for me. Alright, anyways. Bombard it, please. I take it you're ready to I completed your assignment, Professor. <laughs> I'm ready to land Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Shouldn't I be learning this from in Defense Against Dark Arts? Is this something we should be learning in school? 
Better for you to learn it in school, where we can instruct you properly as to its use. Hmm? Now, you must be precise in your wand movement. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. I mean, I nice guess that makes sense. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Hopefully this is more useful than Sendio. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead. Heavy damage on impact. Yeah, because, I mean, Incendio is a good AoE ability, but... Oh yeah, I have Confringo. Oh wait, that's all. I already learned that. Yeah, Expel Your Armas. Because, like, I use this on the Guardians, and it disables them for, like, half a second before they get their weapon back. So I can't even get a hit in. And either way, I ex if I do Expel Your Armas on me... The next guardian next to me would have hit me because they always sh shove like multiple guardians at me. So expel your armus. As much as I want to use it more, it's stupidly ineffective. I can't use it at all. All right, so On the let's try that. Does it matter which pumpkins? Cast a spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Oh, another pumpkin. Excellent. You have it well in hand. How fast will this destroy in fury? Alright, thank you. I love you. Bye bye. Hey, Deke. I got this stuff. Rescue the Thestrals, yes. So it it does apply I've retroactively. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. Oh, well, I've already put them in. Oh. New Vivarium! Alright. Swamp. Alright, I guess I'm moving my Thestrals. So I got a swamp, I got Deep a field, and I got a coastline. Surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deep know once you've bred them. Oh, sweet, I can go to the other side. This is nice. Oh, I do not like that goblin portrait. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, can I... What if I... I'm supposed to be able to change the entire room, right? Yeah, botanical... Yes. After you conjure the pen, you should be able to use it to breed your new Thestrals. So now my expansion should all have a botanical feel. Yay! Very nice, very nice. Oh, well, this will not do. Why are they all different colors? I mean, some people are down for that, but I'm not. Anyways, onward. Wait, so what creatures would be more suitable here? Well, I mean, clearly the. The hippogriffs, right? Because, I mean, the hippogriffs would also be more suited to the field. Yeah, I don't really have anything that's a coastline. 
creatures. All right, Thestrals, you. Everything's all right now. Go back. I mean, the dug bogs definitely need to be in the swamp. Yeah, the moon calves. I guess the moon calves make more sense here. Here we go. Yeah, I don't really... I mean, I could stick, probably stick some ruins in here, but... Alright, where would your feeding area be? Probably here? Yeah, maybe. There's a nice little stumpy zone there. And a spooky little statue. Ooh, hi, hole Oh. Oh wow, there's like way more to explore here. Ooh. Up, oh, just testing the water. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Right temperature. Eh. Is that a moonstone? Yeah. Yeah, I set up the feeding area first. That makes the most sense. Do it here. All right, and then the pen. Oh, my gosh. Okay, jeez, Louise, that's huge. Like, there's not really a lot of space I can put this in. I mean, I... Right smack dab in the middle, I suppose. this? No beast, release beast, no debris dome, husky to Oh. Okay. Now let's see. We got... Industrial one. Ooh, you even got a horn. Oh. These all look the same. Alright. Here we go. Where's my brush? Here you go. And I guess I'll brush the frog too, which is... I don't think that's good for a frog skin. Nope. Nope. Can you get your hair? I guess I already got through here. Oh, I get warts from you? Alright, so what's next? Do I have to... Okay. Cause yeah, in Pal World, you, you're supposed to lift them up and toss them into the breeding pen, but I, I doubt you have to do that here. Alright, so I, this podium thing just like tells the creatures to get in. Oh. Uh, 
Um, okay. It's a little weird, but all right. All right, I'm gonna be a ancestral baby owner in 30 minutes. What next? Oh, I have to wait for the baby? Fine by me. I'll just go make some potions. Since I am completely out. Alright then. Since, um... My Thestro needs to cook. And... I've already... Uh, what is it? I've already sold off some gear. So now I'm gonna help with Sebastian. Because I can't finish this quest yet. I have to wait for the baby to pop out and then after that I'll after all this is done aside from the flight test and I'll finally get to this because it looks like there's seven quests for this chapter so if I'm only with two keepers trials down I just have two more to go so I'm basically halfway through the game by now so I'm guessing I'll finish this uh, let's play around 40 videos which will make it the my longest Let's Play series ever. Or, so far. Alright, into the Undercroft. I kind of want a closet like that. I mean, I'm sure all the little mechanical stuff would be a pain to upkeep. Alright, well, I'm assuming we're not going to see Ominous here because um, he doesn't want anything to do with the dark arts. You'll never believe what I've learned. Wasn't there already a desk somewhere over here? You just pull that table out from wherever. I don't know. I'm dumb like that. Alright, let's see what you got, Sebi. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. Makes sense. I regret using Crucio. I mean... I am Slytherin, and sometimes dark magic is necessary for the kind of enemies we come across. Especially dark wizards. I mean, the dark wizards aren't gonna hold back, so why should I hold back? It was hard to do. But casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it. Because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic. Which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think oh. this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic. But I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I feel like this is something we shouldn't keep from him, given that he's the reason why we even got this book to begin with. And... I don't know, I... He's kind of part of the, the story now, because I don't want to leave him out, because we've left him out, and it... Every time we leave him out, he gets really upset about it. Especially with the whole Undercroft, which was supposed to be, like, him, Sebastian, and Anne's, like secret thing but now we're bringing another person into it and Sebastian did it without asking Ominous so I feel at this point we should include Ominous because again it was his he's the reason why we even have access to this book at all we so need to tell him he's the reason we found the book and he deserves to know what you've learned you've seen how he frets about the dark arts I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic when I know more I shall send an owl And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. 
Ominous. <laughs> we were just about to get some air. Uh, Care to huh. join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Wow, just shove yourself into him. Come I on, Sebby. Not letting this go. So are we good, Ominous? Because I did... I, I did argue to let you know, because I feel it's kind of rude to keep you out of it. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I mean, what did happen to his parents? I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Nose is buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. I mean, it is giving him hope. And at the end of the day, like, if it cures Anne, then isn't it a good thing we went through all this? I mean, we did risk our life going to the scriptorum, but now it's like we have something that can help become a counter curse to what Anne's dealing with and it would help the rest of us because then now if it any of us gets hit with a curse we have a counter curse for it so given that it is from Slytherin's book like we're probably gonna have to do another unforgivable spell but at the end of the day if we come out of it alive and we cure Anne isn't that the important part because it would kind of suck for Anne to live the rest of her life with this curse that just causes her like excruciating pain every so often. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. I mean, we're friends now, aren't we, Ominous? We're, we're all in this together. I mean, he did appreciate that I, like, argued for letting him know. I mean, if I didn't, like, <laughs> Ominous would have overheard me anyway. So either way, it's like, it would have gotten me on Ominous's bad side, which I don't really think I need to be. Oh, so nice of you to wait for me. So, nothing? I'm just... Just gonna... Well, at the very least, I'm gonna do my spinny. There. Spinny satisfied. Well, that was a quick quest. I was expecting a bit more than that, but... Alright. I guess I'll check... I don't think it's... Because it's 30 minutes. I guess in the meantime, I should do fire and vice. Because then by then, the baby should be out, and then I'll complete this full of the dead. So this is... Where? Where am I eating art? Oh my... Why are we meeting out in the Forbidden Forest, Poppy? Why? I know you're all about your... There was a giant purple toad den over here. Why did the quest make me go to the other one with the Infuri? That's infuriating. 
I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, you remember Protego. Well, to be fair, I haven't remembered Protego. But again, when I'm fighting the Guardians, they're throwing so many Guardians at me that even if I cast Protego, it's going to only protect me from one hit. So I'm going to hit a Guardian, another one hits me, but I use Protego, and then third one's going to hit me from behind. So either way, I was going to get hit by those Guardians at all times. And Protego is only going to mitigate the damage, but I'm still going to get damaged. Well, hopefully from Varda I can do more damage to those stupid Guardians in the next trial, but I don't think Protego would have done much, especially against the final one. Why is there a bunch of carriages here? Like the final big bad dude. What are the centaurs doing here? I mean, it's technically is the Forbidden Forest, but still. Why are they all the way over here? Nope. Doc Wizards. Oh. Time to learn my newfound skill. Clumps, work clumps. Yay. Toad stool. Which I don't really need. Is that alrighty then? Alright, time to sleep on the ground. Wonderful winter wonderful day for winter, isn't it? High wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Hauntel Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Okay, but why are we having this very, very confidential conversation deep in poacher territory? Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? <laughs> oh, the sarcasm. This way. Alright, so I'm feeling I'm gonna use a lot of my burning spells, so let's go. After the game lags for a bit. <gasps> a centaur! Tread carefully. I mean, they seem like nice dudes. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. Fair enough. Also, are there any female centaurs or is it just a male-oriented society here? I mean, the female you centaurs can just grow long hair to cover their tatas. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? 
I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Fair enough. I mean, the poachers are also wizard kind as well. So. Oh. That's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. Hmm. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. Drugs, you say? That sounds logical. Also, have you seen any hork lumps? I kind of need them. This is oh, get some odd. What is it? Nope. Not entirely sure. But look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Oh. Okay. Well, they got some treasures. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? And an empty bag. No goodies for me. Pelts. Poor beasts. Got some horns, got some fur. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Ooh, goodies. That I'm just gonna sell. And I took some other coin. I mean, I'm guessing the dug bogs probably chased them off. Just a thought. Oh, I am not drinking that. I know what's gonna happen. Oh, what's this though? Ah, sellables. All right, game. You're telling me to go down there, but I was down there earlier. Oh, this, this is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. I mean, it does have very intricate designs, but I'm not really seeing how it's the metal is specifically goblin. Anything interesting? Goblin metal Poachers that I can identify. All sorts of evidence, but I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. Second thoughts? How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. I mean, I tried disillusionment last time and the game still made me fight. Alright, let's see if the game's gonna pull that same BS on me again. imagination in my opinion going to go all the way up there well I already maxed out my tree on disillusionment so I tell you this Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. There's trouble afoot. I've heard send Tango! Dang it. Hey, I tried. Oh. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I don't 
don't have anything else that affects. So I was like, if I have. Well, I mean, I guess if I have a store of invisibility potion, then I don't need to waste a slot on disillusionment. But yeah, it looks like this game is just insistent on me fighting my way through. So I guess fight my way through I will. Oh! I use my Protego. Bye, Felicia. Merlin, you think they were guarding the minister for magic himself? What is going on here? Only one way to find out. And once again, the NPCs do little to help me. We got a dragon skull here. That's probably worth a bit. Maybe I should just play the game on easy mode, because the game does not provide me enough tools to no. I need the thing again don't I just... like just give me like three bars of hotkeys so I can just go through my keyboard I'm like obviously the system is necessary for a console but I'm not on console the parent Take more of their money, please. Even though it's just chump change at this point. Why do you have all these carriages up here? Like, wouldn't it be a bit more noticeable if a bunch of carriages with... with animal parts just come rolling down the hill? Even just one carriage would cut... would just, like... Spark suspicion. So yeah, no. and flying wouldn't do go any good either, because then like, you see a whole bunch of carriages flying in the sky. I'm like, oh yeah, definitely poachers, because no one makes a whole caravan of carriages just to like fly overhead. What in Merlin's name are those dragons? Ah, cockfighting. How did they stop them it's from burning the whole place down? This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now. And the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard cotton. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Well, if my... If my disillusionment would, like, be more effective That's it. Then I will face it was sinking straight in a bargain with them. It's like you want me to be stealthy, but you're not letting me you're not giving me a path to be stealthy on. Have you heard from your family? Has even your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Sickens me to work alongside any of them. The 
don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near Rookwood. Foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon our necks will be out from under wizarding boots. Wizard kind will pay for what they've done. This is the most metal gear I've ever been. Well, how am I supposed to go? Oh. Seriously, how do they keep the dragons from using their fire? Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? Torture. They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her, shall we? Am I gonna be flying on a dragon out of here? Because I'm guessing that's the only way we're gonna get out. Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. Can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Sweet, more wing weld. Yes, more. At least give me enough to like recoup all the ones I've lost in the Hello, previous Mark. trial. Why does Natty get to do insta lore more, but I gotta freaking lockpick my way through this. And we're gonna get caught, aren't we? Alright, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Ah, loading me up on Wiganwell because there's gonna be a major fight, huh? I don't think 11's gonna be enough. But, here we go, I suppose. Had enough of you. Oh, you're the one who is looking for, and you for a friend. Oh, come on. Okay, I need to get some chopping cabbages out here. Oh, what? Okay. That is not fair. But let me refill my bar. And grab some skulls. We've got time, Poppy. Aim for the ring at the front of oh. the Oh. Wait. <laughs> okay. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. Oh, fantastic. Burn them all! <gasps> I'm guessing that's a Hebridean Black. 
I mean, that works too. Free all the dragons. Appreciate us that we freed you, please. Let it burn. But after we get out. That was quite the adventure. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs oh, to that Hebridean. dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. <sighs> what now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Eh, yeah. Did the poach? Oh, Should of course they would. Stupid me. Poachers. Given the trouble we just caused, it'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. I mean, worth. Since the dragon we freed flew off. Does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. I mean, my vivariums are big enough. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Yay, I'm a defender of dragons. Oh, why did I do that? So am I gonna, am I gonna get a pet dragon now? I mean, surely I can have a menagerie of dragons eventually, at some point, right? It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Oh yes, I was wondering... I mean, I should at least get my owls this year? Or is that sixth year? Alright, where the baby? Where's a brush? Brush, brush. Brush, brush. Hello there. I should let Deke know about the newborn festival. Yeah, so why would breeding them be more advantageous than just going out and... Aren't you a nice oh mama? Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I meant the other. Sorry. Oh my gosh. I forgot I switched my... My hotkeys. I am sorry. That was not my intention. Please don't be mad. the frogs I gotta brush their warts I guess well now I know I can't kill them but I don't think they're too particularly happy about me shooting spells at them Let's see, this is why PC players need a bigger hotkey bar Yeah, it's no pleased to know a little Thestral was born and I just immediately attacked Hello, the mother. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. 
Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we both can see Thestral's Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix. The rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. Well, that sucks. Well, I mean, at least we now know what happened to their previous master. Uh, hey, I'm a Slytherin. I can, I can say it this. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs. And not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Like, it's kind of... It's kind of funny that, like, I'm even developing a better relationship with Deke than I have with Natty. Like, isn't that weird? It's like the developers put all this effort into me developing relationships with all these other characters except one of the two main ones. Alright, I don't think I have any more for... We can, oh, I got one. Can make one. Yeah, I really need to use Thunderbrew and all my other potions. Oh. Gosh. Now I'm running low on Wigan Weld. I used to be swimming in them, and now I'm struggling. Right, I guess that's my next thing, which is gray instead of yellow. I thought yellow is supposed to be for the quests that are like part of the main quest line, which is here. Why is this one yellow or gray? This game just it can it can fuzzles me. I don't think I. Oh wait, I did have a unidentified. There we go. Rugged duel. Again, like, look at all these gears I'm getting. I mean, I can up. No, these are worse. Because I'm already wearing this. Like, all these gears I'm finding, it's like... All I can do with them is sell them. I can't... Like, I've pretty much, I'm already wearing the best that I've gotten so far. Well, I'm down to finding one more wand handle, which I don't even see when I'm playing anyways. And then, like, the only way I can upgrade my broom is if I do the flying side quest, but the flying mechanics in here suck. So, that's not really doable. I got a dragon egg. So yeah, it's like, I'm finding it really hard to enjoy this game. I think I'm going to end it here with the nearly headless Nick. That's nice little bit of the galaxy. Anyways, yeah, this game is just weird because like they put so many little side quests into building a relationship with Sebastian and Deke 
and yet you have all these other side characters like Poppy and then Natty is supposed to be another main main character that I'm supposed to be friends with but they haven't really fleshed her out via side quests very much and now I've got Poppy coming in on this it's like at by the end of the game am I gonna have a the entire school as my own personal army because it doesn't feel like I'm interacting with all these students but I'm not really building up a relationship with them like I am with Sebastian and Deke and somewhat with Natty so I mean it's it's cool that I have all these other students that I can interact with but it's not like the game is giving me the choice to like be friends with certain ones because that would require a lot more programming in the my game as it like to speak with me I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there can we meet at the three broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Any more? Yeah, I would have figured like Natty's mom would eventually catch wind of what we've been doing, which of the two quests that we've done has been very dangerous. But again, I haven't I haven't received enough side quests to build up Natty's story. Other than like the brief conversations we've had doing those quests. So it looks like the game is really leaning towards me like being best friends with like Sebastian and Ominous and all these other characters are just literally just side characters that only get involved when something of their particular expertise is needed. But yeah, it's kind of a shame but I, I mean I understand why because if you want to make millions of different paths that you can take by like recruiting certain characters into your little like team of anti dark wizards it would take much more programming and the game as it is already takes so long to load because it's loading all these different options but again it's like if the game is clearly having me choose between like sebastian or natsai as like my main character best friend I mean, why is Sebastian's story getting more fleshed out with all the quests I've been doing compared to Natsai? I mean, maybe people might prefer that kind of friendship where just like, I don't need to know a lot about you to just be good friends with you, which is fine. But for me, like, I prefer a more developed relationship before I can start like trusting someone with all my secrets, especially secrets that would get them in danger as well. So, yeah. Not a fan of how that's turning out, but it is what it is. Until next time, this is Zero Raptor signing off. Laters.